Welcome, grade 8 students. Our topic is slope of a line. Our objectives for this lesson, number one, you can now illustrate the slope of a line. Number two, you can now get the slope of a line given the graph, two points, and the equation. And three, you will appreciate the concept of slope in real-life situations. So, slope of a line is a number that measures its steepness. Ano ba yung steepness? Ito yung paano um, ka-slant yung line. So, measure mo kung gaano ka-slant yung line through its distance. And it also characterizes the direction of the line. So, kung ano magiging itsura ng line natin. Halimbawa, ang line nyo, positive slope. So, kapag sinabi mong positive slope, going up siya. Kung mapapasin nyo dito, ito ay picture galing sa Google na nakuha ko. Itong high guard natin ay pataas. He goes up, that's why it is a positive slope. And then here naman, straight yung walk niya, zero slope yon Horizontal line kapag nasa graph siya. Kapag pinlat mo siya sa ating Cartesian plane, ang line niya ay horizontal line. And then negative naman kapag pababa yung line. Ito yung itsura ha ng line. So, negative slope siya. And then, lastly, kapag vertical naman ang ating slope, ayan, undefined slope siya. Ma-example -e natin siya in real life, katulad ng nga nito. Also, para hindi mo maisip, paano man pag pa left ang lakad niya, edi yung negative, magpa-positive yun. So, ganito. Um, ito naman yung example na dapat going to the right lang lagi ang lakad mo. So, meet Mr. Right or Slope Man. Mr. Right because he can only walk sideways and on his right only. So, para hindi ka malito. Basta dapat ang tingin mo lang or lakad lang na imagine mo is going to the right. Kaya siya positive. Hindi to the left, magiging negative yan. So, dapat going to the right, positive. And then, ayan, bumababa siya, negative. Then, is, eh, dito naman hindi kayo magkakamalay kasi basta horizontal, zero yan. And then, undefined naman kapag vertical yung slope. Ngayon, meron din tayo dito yung mukha ni slope man. So, again, ito yan. So, yung kilay niya dito, ito yung positive yan eh. Diba? Ito yung line. Positive. Kaya ganyan yung mata niya. Dito naman sa kabila, negative. Yung, yung slope niya ay negative. Kaya ang sign natin dito ay negative. Ito naman yung ating undefined slope. Kaya meron tayo dito yung letter U. Stands for undefined. U, undefined. And then, ito yung zero slope natin, yung line natin. And kaya may bilog-bilog dito, zero kasi. Okay? Ngayon, um, how to get the slope of a line if we have the graph? Ito yung pinakamadali na pagkuha ng slope. Ito, may graph tayo dito. So, it is determined by the rise over the run between two points. Ito yung dalawang points. We use M to represent the slope of the line. So, ito ang symbol natin ng slope. Ito ang ating formula. Slope equals rise over run. So, ano ba yung rise at ano ba yung run? So, ang rise natin, ito siya. So, change in vertical distance. So, ang rise natin, M equals, ang rise natin, change in vertical distance, either going up ka, yung distance mo, or going down. And then, yung run natin, ang tinutukoy niya ay yung change in horizontal distance. So, Yan ay either going to the left or going to the right yung distance. So, ngayon, try natin itong ating point. So, paano ba tayo, uh, paano ba natin i-measure yung distance between the point? Ganito. From here, kung gusto mo, um, pataas ka. And then, going to the right. Para makarating ka dito sa point na to. Pwede din, again, from here, dito ka naman dumaan saka ka mag going up. Pwede rin, syempre, um, so from here, going down ka naman, pwede yun. Then, going to the left. Or, from here again, going to the left, then, go down ka. Isa lang ang magiging sagot mo pag kinuha mo ang slope ng iyong line. Hindi ka magkakamali. Dahil pareho lang ang magiging sagot. So, ngayon, try natin. Um, punin natin ang slope ng number 1. M, small letter M lang ha. Equals. So, kung gusto ko from going up tayo, iyon ang rise. Okay? Yung going up or down, yun yung rise. Ilalagay natin siya sa numerator. So, from here, ilan ang magiging distance? So, bilangin mo yung tiles na dadaan man, dadaanan mo. So, from here, bilang ka 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5. So, 5 ang distance ng rise natin. Dahil going up tayo, positive siya. And then, from here, going to this point na, going to the right. So, start ka ulit to count. 1, 2, and 3. So, since tayo ay going to the right, positive din yun. So, ang run mo ay positive 3. So, 5 over 3 to. Pwede pa ba natin to i-reduce to lowest term? Hindi na. Ito na ang pinaka-slope ng ating first graph. So, ang sagot natin ay positive 5 over 3. Tama tayo, positive ang slope. Dahil kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating line dito ay positive slope nga. So, this is our answer. Second example. Again, rise over run ito. Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, tatlo ang points. Kahit alin dyan, ang kunin mong distance pareho lang. Halimbawa, itong distance from this point up to this point. Iisa lang yan kapag kinumpare mo from this point up to this point. Pareho lang. And also, pareho lang kapag ang kinuha mong point ay or distance ay from this point up to the other end point. Yung end to end. Pareho lang sila. Kasi bakit pareho? Linear equation. Linear ang graph natin. Straight line yan. Kaya pare-pareho lang ang ating magiging slope. Ngayon, Gusto kong kunin ay yung um, distance from this point up to this point. So, ano magiging sagot natin? Kung gusto ko naman, going down siya. Going down. So, from this point, bilang tayo ng tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, M equals rise yun, ha? So, ang rise natin ay 4. But since yan ay going down, negative 4 ang ating rise. And then, going to the right... So, from dito tayo to Miguel, going to the right, step ka ulit, 1, 2, and 3. Positive 3 yung kasi we went to the right. So, negative 4 thirds. Pero ayusin nyo, yung negativity dapat nasa pagitan ni 4 and 3. So, your final answer is negative 4 thirds. O, para talaga ma-double check natin kung pareho lang, pwede natin kunin ang distance from this point up to the other end point. Sige, so kunin ulit natin. Gusto ko naman dito mag-start. Going up, then to the left. So, going up, start dito. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, ang sagot dito ay A. Positive 8 kasi going up tayo. And then over, going to the left. So, again, from this point, um, move ka. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Dahil nagpunta ka sa left side, negative yon, Negative 6. Ngayon, na, kaya, pwede pa ba ito i-reduce to lowest term? Yes. Pwede pa sila i-divide sa kanilang GCF na 2. So, ang magiging final answer mo dyan ay 8 divided by 2 ay 4. And then, 6 divided, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So, ilalagay niyo ulit ang negative sa tabi ng fraction bar. And this is our final answer, negative 4 thirds. Pareho lang. Okay? So, kahit ito pa ang i-measure mong distance, pareho rin iyan. So, don't worry kahit ano ang kunin mong distance, pareho lang ang magiging slope. Another example. Anong napansin nyo sa ating slope? So, mapapansin nyo undefined siya. Siyempre, papakita natin bakit siya undefined. So, let us have again our M. Ang pwede lang natin i-measure dito kung mapapansin nyo ay yung vertical distance. Yung rise lang. Yung run natin, wala. Wala kasi silang horizontal distance. So, kahit ano, kung gusto nyo go from here, going down. Or from here, going up, pwede. So, sige, dito tayo sa parais talaga tayo, pa-up from this point. So, jump ka ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ang rise mo. And, hindi naman tayo nag kasi na-reach na agad natin yung ating um, next point. Okay? So, 0 lang ang ating run. So, ngayon, any number divided by 0 is undefined. So, yung slope mo dito ay undefined ang magiging sagot. Next example, anong mapapansin niya ulit? Ang slope natin ay zero slope. Pero ipakita natin. Again, ano ang ating um, formula? Rise over run. Kung mapapansin niyo, dahil horizontal lang ang distance natin, sa run lang siya. Dahil ang run ay change in horizontal distance. Ang rise natin ay change in vertical distance. So, meron lang tayo ay yung horizontal distance. So, ilan? So, from this point, kung gusto ko pumunta to the right side, Kunin natin. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, and 6. Yun ay dito sa ating denominator ang run. And wala naman tayong rise, zero siya. So, zero divided by any number is equal to zero. So, your slope will be zero. That's why it is called zero slope. Now, I will leave you this one. What, how to get the slope of our graph here. I will give you 30 seconds answer. Try to answer on your own. Again, rise is the change in vertical distance going up or going down. Ang run natin, change in vertical dis um, horizontal distance going to the left or right. So, kunin mo muna yung rise. Either gusto mo from this part going up ka and then to the right. So, ngayon, what is your answer? Ito ang ating answer. This slope is m equals 4 feet. Kung tama ang sagot mo, very good. Naintindihan mo ang topic natin. That's it. Thank you for watching.